Are you stuck in ELO hell? Do you think that you deserve a higher rank? Are teammates holding you back? If you answer yes to any of these questions, well, I'm here today to tell you that you are wrong. If you deserve that rank, you would be at it right now. Instead, here you are complaining. Today, however, I'm going to give you a no bullshit guide on how to climb from iron to diamond. And this guide is based on my personal journey of Valorant, and it works. I've seen many, many posts on Reddit of people saying that they are hard stuck and have no way of getting out, that they aren't improving, that they're being held back. Sometimes this is true. There will be games where they are trolls, but the majority of games you will play will be winnable games. You will reach the rank you deserve if you keep on playing. When I first started playing Valorant, I had no FPX experience. I was playing games like League of Legends, which meant I was behind on having that base knowledge of FPS games, like many of you are. I bet that you watch those recycled guides that Pro Guides and Gatebly put out, and honestly, they aren't terrible. However, you have no idea if those tips that they give actually work. And today, I will tell you what I did to improve. This is truly how I climbed all the way to Diamond, and I hope this will help you. Alright now, time for the guide. I am going to go rank by rank here, and I will start with Iron and Bronze. I put these two ranks together because I believe this tip I am going to give you will help you climb out of both ranks. Iron and Bronze is where lots of people who have no FPS experience like I did will place. Iron and Bronze is a fiesta. People have no idea what they're doing. They run and shoot, use only shotguns, and there are no strats except rushing a site. These are the things I did in Iron, so don't be ashamed if you do any of these things. The way I got out of Iron was by playing the game. Playing the game will get you out of Iron very quickly. You just, to, you just need to learn the game and its mechanics. This could mean playing ranked, unrated, or spike rush. Your goal here is to get the hours in so you at least have an idea of what you're doing. Many people just play for fun in Iron, and they might play one game every now or then, and they don't have the experience in the game. However, if you play the game and get the hours in, you will get that experience and quickly blow by these players. Moving on to Silver. Congrats. You have passed the two lowest ranks and now have a basic sense of the game. As a Silver, you kind of have an idea of what you're doing. You will have an understanding of the fundamentals of the game. In Silver, teams are a bit more coordinated, the strategies are still not present as people don't have the aim to actually execute those strategies. So what do we do from here? How do we climb to Gold? In Silver, you want to start being a bit more focused on your aim. Simply put, the aim will get you quickly to Gold. In order to start improving your aim, you don't use aim trainers, but you will need to limit what agents you play. This is because if you play too many agents, you'll be too busy learning the agent during the game instead of focusing on your aim. I only played Phoenix when I was in Silver, and this quickly got me out of Silver, because instead of learning the physics and the utility usage of Phoenix, I was focusing on other aspects of my game. After you have chosen an agent you want to play, start playing Deathmatch and go into the practice range before games. This will help you build muscle memory and make sure your hands are warm and ready to play Valorant. Another thing I recommend in Silver is to start playing with a friend. Dual queuing, in my opinion, is the best way to climb other than having a committed 5 stack. Starting to dual queue will get you used to, to communicate and make you familiar with what I think is the best way to climb in general. Alright now, time for gold. This is a rank where majority of people are stuck in, and I know a majority of you watching this video will also be in gold. So if you are a gold and want to get out, this is for you. This rank has many different kinds of players. People who have all aim, no brain, people who are lucky in their games and don't deserve gold. There are washed up diamonds here and also recently demoted plats. So you can see that there's a lot of skill diversity here. So what should you do? The most important thing to do is to start and to improve your game sense. Yes, still work on improving your aim, but game sense will get you out. This means working on utility usage, positioning, and general map awareness. Players in gold are very egoistic. They all think that they deserve a high rank and go to stupid solo plays. These are the I drop 20 francs every game and not rank up players. Instead, you need to outthink them and instead of out aiming these players. This means being aware of players who do these things and make a plan to kill them. Let's start with utility usage. You need to be able to effectively use your utility so you don't use it all at once and not have any utility to push a site or stop a push. For example, a common bad habit I see is sage players throwing a slow orb after their wall is being broken. Don't do this unless you know there's someone pushing up. A lot of times people just break the wall and leave. This can also apply to other agents, so think before you use a piece of utility. When you die, you need to think about your positioning. 
Were you in a one and done position, meaning with no escape route? Were you peeking by yourself or into an opera? Do you use this position before and enemies have started pre firing you? These are some questions that you need to think about to improve your positioning. Lastly, for gold players, you know that little thing in the top left of the minimap? Yeah, it's pretty important to look at. The minimap will give you insane amounts of info. Sometimes you might not even be able to see the enemy, but you'll be able to see the question mark pop up on your screen. You can also see enemy utilities such as Soba Recon Darts and make decisions with your team based on that. The mini map is underutilized in gold in my opinion. When I was in gold, I was also egoistic and I thought I should be plat. I got quickly frustrated. Once I thought about these questions when I died about my positioning and utility usage and map awareness, I started to climb. Instead of blaming something or someone, I started improving myself. So to the goals, you need to start thinking about your actions and start improving your game sense. Our next rank will be Platinum. You are now on the higher end of the spectrum. People start taking the game more seriously when they hit Plat. Now when I hit Plat, I was very happy. I was so happy, I stopped focusing on the game. I dropped gold multiple times and had to climb back to Plat multiple times. So now, what I did for climbing out of Plat was two things actually. One, having an aim training routine and watching my own gameplay. I decided that if I wanted to improve, I should start practicing outside of the game. So I did 30 minutes of aim training in aim labs before I went to sleep every day. This helps build muscle memory as doing things before you sleep helps you learn those things faster. If you guys want, I can give you my routine, just let me know in the comments. When reviewing my VODs, this was important. Instead of asking a question after I died, I would be able to better understand the mistakes I made and needed to improve. Another thing to remember is not to look at the deaths only. It's also important to see what you did well, so you can continue that in your other games. I would recommend wandering by yourself or with a higher elo friend. I hope this will help you climb in Valorant. There are tons of guides out there and I decided that I need to give people real advice that has proven to work. These are all the things I did to help me climb. I would appreciate it if you guys left some advice in the comments because this is the first video I've ever done. I wish you all the best of luck on your Valorant journey. 